me to the body I'm about to catch I'm coming for they throats like a cigarette Comparing me to rappers, you confusing me I don't make rap songs, I rap eulogies Tell my future baby mama that I got her Twelve gauge rocking car, that bitch the White Howard Niggas talking with some nails to a kilo Man, we here Swords, mm. Moses West, July 27, man, y'all already know what it is, it's going down, you know what I'm saying, shout out to BBA, everybody who had anything to do with putting this whole classic battle together, you know, for everybody who don't know, we got Swords versus Moses West, hosted by myself, now, been a lot of talk going on, man. A lot of shit going on since this battle started, man. A lot of tension, you know what I'm saying? I seen niggas, you know, posting their opinions on who gonna take it. And I myself, you know, I'm even probably gonna put a little guap up. I'm gonna just we can talk about it, discuss that later, you know what I'm saying? But uh, as of right now, sports, how you doing? My nigga, I Yes, sir. This, this man here is one of the most well respected lyricists in the city, you know what I'm saying? Put in a lot of work, came a long way, you know what I'm saying? Uh, First of all, bro, I didn't even know you battled, bro. What made you take what, what made you take the battle? Um, a lot of niggas say that shit. A lot of niggas don't know I started battle rap when I started rapping on battle rap 15, 16 years old. That's okay. my that's my roots, that's my foundation. Um so I actually come from it. I respect the culture. Um in terms of why I took it, I got a few options. I mean a few different things that um that went the thought process about it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Um you being a hustler, you could understand that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um, but the other side of it was, you know, I knew it'd be a good movie to watch. Mm -hmm. From a consumer standpoint, that would be something that I would be interested in seeing. Mm -hmm. So the more and more I thought about it, at first I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna keep it real with you. I was like, fuck it, and you just far removed from that shit. I've been that, done that, got t-shirts and, you know what I'm saying, bumper stickers, and you got shit to prove to nobody. But the more I thought about it, the more excited, exciting of an idea it became to me. Mm -hmm. So, here we are. Okay, okay, okay. Moses West. My nigga. Out east. All day. Bound. Okay. Uh, you stepping on the scene, bro. And I, I got to admit, bro, even I'm a fan. Mm -hmm. Know what I'm saying? I, I love what you do, my nigga. Know what I'm saying? The, the delivery is crucial, you know what I'm saying? The wordplay is stupid, you murder Beast Boy. I fuck with Beast Boy. Beast Boy, I fuck with you, but the man kills you. I mean, even your mama will tell you. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. just saying, real shit. But anybody who keep it real with you, I'll be like, you know, it is what it is. But, G Frost was a, a little closer battle, but I feel as though you walked away from that with a win also, you know. Um, it was a situation there where I say, you know, you really want. I mean, I'll take that. other than that, everything a thousand. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But check it. You got Swords, one of the most respected MCs, one of the best lyricists in the city, man. This man, you know, he do this. He really do this. What's your confidence level going into this, into this, into this match? Uh. I pretty much think it's gonna be this probably be the easiest battle I've took. No, I'm just I'm I'm, I'm keeping it honest, you know what I'm saying? Cause it's a whole new ball game. Perfect you know what I'm saying? Well, well, the man, the man been around for a long time. The man put in the work. The man is a pioneer. I respect that. But the thing is, it's a whole new ball game, and you ain't been around since we started playing ball like this. You know when he, when the old nigga being uh on the on the on the court with the goggles on and the long socks. Still doing the hand check, you know they don't let you do the hand check. No okay, way. okay. That ain't how we do. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a whole new game, and I just think he far too far removed from what's going on here. You know what I'm saying? Like he making his music, and he make good music. I'm taking that away from the man. The man make good music, but in this in this in this in this ring, it ain't nothing to depend on. You ain't got no producer. You ain't got no two three takes to do. You ain't got no beat to carry. So it's it's you you really. Should be the underdog, you know. But you know, that was that was deep. Mm -hmm. That was deep. And the man, Swords. The man speaks the truth. Swords. How do you feel going into this match? What do you feel gives you an advantage and disadvantage? What do you think the odds of you winning on? Um, the odds of me winning on um, is 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 the numbers is is, is dumb on it. Um, if my confidence level through the roof on it. 
strictly based on the fact that, like I said, for one, I come from this shit. I feel like you in another different ball game. The poetry shit, we almost distant cousins, but stepping over him, it's completely different than what you do. That you ain't got, you know what I mean? You got a few different um, hands up on the rappers that you didn't had before you, before me. You dealing with a real one now. I didn't play game, ball. Game change. I didn't play ball. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I didn't and play one ball. Is and this, one different is from street era? ball. And one different from street ball. Okay. 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 Y'all see the hostility? You see uh -huh. the intent, bro? It's going down. The yeah. 27th. Oh, bro, I don't want this street ball. The but. 27th is going down. All I can say, man, I'm gonna sit down with my motherfucking popcorn and a big old ass cup of probably uh Ciroc, You know. <laughs> And I'm gonna enjoy the show, man. You need to be there. It's hosted by me. Swore say he feel as though my man Moses the underdog. Moses feel like the underdog. this I'm is a whole new lane. Let the people tell it. I'm definitely the underdog. He's much more popular. Moses sound pretty confident to me. Swore sound like he ready. I mean, do any any of y'all care to discuss strategies? Maybe no. Kill this nigga. That's my strategy. Kill this nigga. My mama taught me anything that was put in front of me, you clean your plate, nigga. Mm, mm, mm. Ain't nothing. I'm just coming to rap better than the rappers. That's all I'm doing. I just want to show my poetry is equal to, if not greater than, what he does. And that's all. Like freestyle mean. competition, I think you'll win then. Yeah. Okay. But, you know, this, this, this is what I do. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never had to depend on the beat, on the hook. On the niggas that's behind me jumping around on stage, like it's me in the microphone, man. And that's a uh, that's that's something you're gonna have to get used to. Right. Yeah. So you basically saying you feel like Cus Wars is an actual rapper and not a real battle rapper, that he's outside of his playing field. Well now, he gonna have to adjust, that's what I'm saying. And uh it ain't it ain't impossible for him to adjust, but I ain't got to, I'm already here. You know what I'm saying? So now it's like the rookie facing the vet. I ain't, I ain't took a lot of battles, but I did this before in this particular era. You know what I'm saying? And that's all I'm telling you, man. Like okay. you, you, you. It's still some things like you ain't gonna learn to your second, third battle, going back and watching yourself on tape. Which is true. Yeah, I, I don't see nothing of you recorded. I went and looked. Trust me. Okay. I don't see no battles you recorded. So, uh, so now this, this pretty much your first battle. So now you gotta come and say, okay. In my next battle, I gotta do this right, I gotta do this right. But I ain't the nigga you can slap on nothing against. You see what I'm saying? So when you come in like, damn, I should've, uh, I should've had more performance, I should've had more, I should've elevated my voice more. No, you can't get by doing, losing nothing with me. I done been there already, I done watched myself on tape, I said, okay, this is what I gotta do better. I'm already writing for you because I took too long to write for the last nigga, and that's why I got my little slip up, you know? Uh, but I'm learning the game. I'm learning the game and you gotta learn this game. The you learn it what you do. The same thing you just said about what a nigga embody as a rapper in terms of voice and all that shit, I embody all of that. So what makes you think I'm stepping too far away from what it is I'm already doing? Because you all you gotta depend on is these bars, man. Like you ain't got no like I said, you ain't got no hook. You ain't got no beat, you can't jump around and dance, you can't you can't do none of that. You just gotta have bars. Okay. So so basically you saying you think that my man ain't got balls. I ain't saying he don't got balls. I'm saying <laughs> how how, how, how do you feel? I ain't saying he don't got balls, I won't say that. But I'm just saying how it gonna feel when all you got is ball. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. Okay. So ball for ball you saying Swords can't stand up with you. I don't know. I ain't never seen Swords ball for ball. Mm -hmm. Swords. You done seen me though. You just stop me in the middle of the club and say, "Nigga, bop for bop, you go." Oh, so I have, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a man of um, I give you your respect. I have no problem giving you your respect. I wouldn't accept the battle if I didn't feel I have a certain level of respect for you. Mm -hmm. But I do feel like, for one, I'm giving you your first viable mm -hmm. um challenge. Mm -hmm. Um, secondly, I feel like <clears throat> what I'm doing for your career. First thing you should have did was thank me. First off, um, thirdly, everything that you feel like I have as a disadvantage will make the movie that much more fun to watch. Okay. It'll make the car crash that much fun to, you know, the witness to the. So what you saying is, he's slipping, 
and thinking you slipping, but really he's slipping for sleeping on it. He's sleeping for slipping in the first place. Okay, I can dig that. So, you know, everybody likes to watch a murder. Everybody loves a good, everybody loves a good car crash. Like so, I said, I come from the, I come from the we'll street background. Right. And we got this, uh, we got this old phrase, we say rather it's, uh, you know, uh, whether it's 10 or 10,000, we go hard. So I ain't gonna sleep on nobody. Like, I'm gonna get him. I'm, I'm gonna go hard at you the same way I would go hard at Mike Breezy or somebody mm -hmm. trash. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, <laughs> yeah, so I ain't, I ain't sleeping on nobody. I'm, I'm gonna get the best mo that I can give every time. So Mike not Breezy. Let's not talk about it. <laughs> Who is Mike Breezy? Yeah, exactly. But let's go here. <laughs> Everything, taking everything that they can say into consideration. Um, I do feel like, even from a consumer standpoint, there's a lot of things um, as an entertainer that people, that I feel like I've exhibited as an artist that people haven't paid attention to. And I also feel like there's a lot of things I haven't showed um, people in terms of facets that I have as an artist um, to people, for people to know exactly you know what it is, that, where I come from and who I am as an artist completely. Um, a complete artist has dynamic. Nigga ain't gonna give you the same album or the same song over and over and over and over again. Um, so at the end of the day, I do feel like I'm at a stage in my career where um, I'm doing something that I'm, I, I haven't given the entertainers over the past couple of years mm -hmm. this side of it. Mm -hmm. um, even with me being at the level that I am in my career, with my accomplishments, um, things that I've been blessed to do, people I've been blessed to see and be around, um, people will ask me, why would you step back and do the battle shit in the you first place? And that's something I was going to mention, man, because I honestly felt like, you know, I was, a, I kind of wanted to get on the battle scene, but not as a battle, mm -hmm. because I felt like, just to be, not to try to down talk nobody, but just being 1,000% real, I just felt like it was a step back mm -hmm. for me to battle, because it's almost like, it's like another type of league, like another type of rap. You know what I'm saying? That's well respected. I love it. I'm a fan of it. I watch it. I know damn near every major battle rapper from up north name, face. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm a fan of the sport, but I feel as though I wouldn't. I would feel as though it was a step down if I saw Jadakiss in a rap battle. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So with you having the clout that you already got and the name that you already got, you know what I'm saying? I feel as though you. You is kind of, you know, doing a favor by even doing the battle. Because mm -hmm. it's, it's kind of a step down for you, you know what I'm saying? But it's good for the streets, it's good for the city. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's good for the sport. It's good for my man Moses. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's going to work out in a, in, in, a lot of, in a lot of ways. You know what I'm saying? But um, I know this in a lot of your music, bro, it's street. Mm -hmm. You know, um, we kind of are, we kind of similar when it comes to being artists. We both lyricists, we both got a good wordplay. So... But what you making the type of music you make, which is, you know, street shit, mm -hmm. how do you think, how do you think that's going to help or hurt you in the battle? Um, I don't think it hurt me at all because if you're a true Swords follower, if you're a true Swords supporter, I exhibit my lyricism and my level of it on everybody at work that I drop, from the first mixtape to an album that I dropped a few years ago to every mixtape that I dropped post then. Um, do I exhibit that level? on every record. No. As an artist you can't do that. Certain things ain't called for. Mm -hmm. um, but in terms of me being a spinner mm -hmm. and that being where I come from and my respect for lyrics and my respect for the culture in the first place, I exit that on everybody at work that I put out. So if you've really been following, you already know. So you think um, that gives you an advantage? I definitely think it gives me an advantage from, um, from where I'm sitting from a consumer standpoint because they're sleeping on me from that area. Yes sir. Um, which is all fine with me. Okay. Um, it makes me give you, give, it, I give you a little bit more to watch to make it that much more interesting for you. So I'm completely fine with that. Okay. Most same question, different standpoint. You do the poetry. You know, mm -hmm. do you think that helps or hurts you, and why? Um, I feel like it helps. This is why I feel like it helps. Um, I have a genre of fans. You know what I'm saying? Like. Um, like all my fans pretty much, I don't know, working class people, uh, all that there. Be, doing, the, doing the battle rap has gave me an audience that I probably wouldn't reach doing my regular 
you know, doing yeah. my regular poetry show. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, Balance Soul is just going to make it that much bigger because he definitely got the streets on lock. Mm -hmm. I ain't, um, like I said, I ain't taking nothing from the man. The man, I just feel like he's at a disadvantage coming into this world. I didn't, I didn't battle before, you know what I'm saying? Um, you didn't battle before, but whatever you did in the 90s, it's a whole new game, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> It's, it's a whole new game. You ain't battling in 15 years, then it ain't, you know what I'm saying, you ain't relevant right now. And that's why you battling. Mm -hmm. Because right now, you see niggas like me coming up in the world and you going down in the world. Now we just meeting at the center point. Mm -hmm. That's all it is. You battling right now because, you battling right now because, because niggas is talking about Moses West and ain't nobody seen so nothing about really, swords lately. This nigga's really cocky mm -hmm. enough to think that me and him are actually at a meeting point mm -hmm. in our career. We're at a junction. To where I cross paths. Look, first, first of all, let me cut all that talk, the tough talk show. Because first of all, you got a rap career, and I'm battling you in rapping. So that's the only reason we. But you ain't, you ain't did shit that I ain't did now. But I'm on a whole other ball you. game. That's I'm a whole other. You know what I'm saying? So that's, I'm on a whole, whole other argument. argument. Okay, okay, well, okay. That's so a whole don't be thinking argument. you further in your career. You further in your rap career. That's, I'm coming over here where you at. That's what. That's okay, exactly okay. my point. You know, that's exactly right. my point. I get your respect on your poetry shit, okay. but I'm talking about my accomplishments mm -hmm. on the rap side of things. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of where I'm coming at. With when you're I talking about. I saying, but you've been rapping 20 years. Me, I've been rapping for eight months. And how many bodies? Me. How many bodies you got, nigga? How many bodies you done put I got, on camera? I got you got two battles. You got none on camera. You got two battles. You got none on camera. 2014. All, all what you and you think you, that you got that much money. Nigga, all I'm respect is about what you say you did. I ain't got to tell you shit. You can Google me and ask questions, nigga. I ain't got to tell your motherfucker. The smoke boy itself. You wasn't cold, man. Nigga was saying you wasn't cold. That's all I'm saying. July 20th, motherfucking 7th, man, I know one thing. If you ain't there, shit, I might put a hit out on you. Nigga, you need to be there. It's going down, nigga. July 27th, BBA, Swords, Moses, y'all here. They already done let it off their chest. Some of you, I feel the motherfucking tension and the steam coming off these niggas, man. These niggas gonna do some classic shit, man. For real, the wordplay gonna be sick. I'm gonna laugh my ass off, man. You need to beat up, man. Come hit my J and drink up some of my Ciroc or something, man. And, you know, have a good time. R.I.P. Mob Boss, man. BBA, what's up? Shout out to T-Rome. Shout out to my nigga Boo. Shout out to Bread. You know what I'm saying? Everybody who's doing their thing and this shit, man. Y'all fuck with me. I'm out. Point me to the body I'm about to catch. I'm coming for they twice like a cigarette.